all right guys so today might very well be the day that i finally pull 900 pounds i'm at home right now i just getting ready to go to the gym and uh yeah the reason why i'm recording this at home is because once i get to the gym i really just want to like zone in as much as possible and just focus at the task at hand um as of right now we are two weeks out from nationals <sighs> So yeah, <laughs> like this has been playing on my mind for so long and then like the day is finally here, it's finally time for training, I already had breakfast and everything, it is, yeah, like half past one right now, so yeah, I watched some Junior Wheels in the back, just to kind of like get my mind into like the, the powerlifting zone, but yeah, you know when you have like a PR coming up and it's just very important to you how like it just plays on your mind time and time again, um, yeah. That has literally been me. So, yeah, the lips been going great. I've shown you guys, I think, most if not all of the singles leading up to um, today. So, yeah, the only thing is like my hamstring has been bothering me just like a little bit, um, and even like my back as well. But once those don't act up, I should be fine. So, yeah, the next time I talk to you guys will be after that single because I just kind of like. Locking. So I already did a couple back down sets. Um, obviously you guys saw the top set and it went pretty well. Um, I was feeling my hamstring just like a little bit warming up, but 
by the time I got to like the last warm up, which was 8.15, and then the top set, everything just felt like, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling anything. So I was just like, you know, focused on the weight. Um, I can still feel it maybe like a little bit right now, but it's not like it's more than it was before or anything like that. So yeah, definitely happy about that. Um, yeah, I, had, I was talking to Sanjeevan and Johnny called me as well. And I don't think like it has sunk in that I just deadlifted 900 pounds. Um, that's obviously the, it matches the heaviest drug tested deadlift ever. And the person who did that was obviously Jesus Oliveras and he is, you know, significantly heavier than me. So yeah, the goal is to do that in comp. Um, that's why I'm not getting too excited about it because it's like, I have deadlifted 831 before like three times and I missed it in comp twice. So the job is not done, the job's not finished. And um, yeah, just really just trying to lock in. And on top of the job not being finished, I still have my heaviest bench and then my heaviest squat as well over the next couple of training days. So I, yeah, really, really just like trying to lock in tunnel vision and not try to like celebrate this win too much. Um, but yeah, thankful to be healthy. I really thought that the hamstring would bother me more than it did. Back down set seemed to be going fine. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this video too long. Um, I probably won't even show you guys like the squats and stuff because you guys already been through this training day with me. So I'll keep this video short and sweet and I'm gonna make videos for each one of these big days. So the next video you guys see would be bench. And uh, yeah, so two weeks out. And uh, I think this was what? This would be like, this was my second to last deadlift session, right? Yeah, so I only have literally one more deadlift session. It's not going to be anything too crazy. So, yeah, it's really just to like zone in mentally and uh, see what we can do.